Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been really busy with school and I want to apologize real quick. I'm very sick right now. I have a stuffy nose. Um, but happy 2016. And I want to start this year off with a book that I actually finished um, on December 30th, Paper Towns by John Green. This is by far my favorite John Green book. I read um, Looking for Alaska and I read The Fault in Our Stars, but Paper Towns has, is, is my favorite John Green book that I have read so far. Time for the story. Quentin Jacobson has spent a lifetime loving the magnificent Margot Roth Spiegelman from afar. So when she cracks open a window and climbs back into his life, summoning him for, for an ingenious campaign of revenge, he follows. When their all-nighter ends and a new day breaks, Margot has disappeared. Hugh soon learns that there are clues and they're for him, embarking on an exhilarating adventure to find her. The closer Q gets, the less he sees the girl he thought he knew. And that is so completely true. You know, I read this story and I found myself, like, almost turning into Q. Like, I was learning you know new things about Margot you know she wasn't the girl that I pictured in the book at the beginning um, toward the end and I could I could see myself in Margot and the things that she wanted you know she wanted to get out of um, where she was she she just wanted to be somewhere else she wanted to go on an adventure and you know that's something that everybody wants you know everybody kinda wants to get out there and explore you know, I just loved how, you know, the time in the beginning of the story with Margot and Q was so, so short, you know, in a sense of, of how many chapters there were compared to, you know, the rest of the story. But it was just so full of, of excitement and adventure and just great things. It was just perfect. Um, just Margot's character is awesome. Uh, she has a, a really wonderful insight on everything and you know she's just very intuitive and it's you know it's very different from you know the character she presents herself as you know that like um top high school girl you know dating the cool guy or the fact that she goes back to Q and she cares about Q so much even though they you know, the last time they really hung out was when they were like nine or ten. Um, you know, it's it just goes to show you that sometimes the people that will stay in your life or that will make the biggest impact are people that you knew before or people that, you know, you didn't know before would have that sort of impact on you. And I think that's just beautiful and I think John Green perfectly you know thought this out in the book and with all the characters you know um Ben and Lacey Ben and Lacey's romance you know um I could sort of see it that it was going to happen once Lacey came up to Q and Ben after Margot disappeared and you know I really liked it because it it showed you know the real sides of them you know as um later on the book you know Radar says you know that's who Ben is you know Ben isn't like you Q and and Q starts to realize that this is who Ben is this is who Lacey is you know these aren't the same people that I thought they were do a, a very very new perspective on how you see um, other people around you and even yourself you know you kind of look at yourself and just like how do people see me uh, this book has also given me my new favorite line from any book I've ever read. Part 2, Chapter 17, uh, You're Upsetting the Black Santas. I laughed really hard at this line. I don't know why. It's just one of the best lines I've ever read. It's awesome. All in all, I just want to thank John Green for writing this book. You know, after reading it, I, you know, I, I feel that I have, you know, sort of changed my mindset. You know, I haven't become a different person, but I, I'm going to start thinking in a different way and seeing people in a different light and I'm really happy about that and I'm really glad that I read this book. I'm happy that my mom got this book for me. I recommend, you know, anybody, you know, to read it. 
I really like how in the third half of the book, when they're driving, how it's it's sectioned out by hours. You know, I thought that that was very clever because, you know, a lot can happen on a road trip, but at the same time, not a lot can happen. And so I really like how he he sectioned it out and, you know, told you what happened within each hour. And, you know, you could kind of almost picture yourself like you're also you're also with them, you know you know with Lacey and Ben and Radar and Q you know racing down the the interstates and the highways you know uh calculating playing I spy and all that and it was it was really great it was a really um a nice approach to it and it wasn't just chapters and having just sections of paragraphs split up by a large space in between you know it was it was captioned hour one hour two and it was it was really neat and I really liked it. So thank you so much for watching um, my sort of review on Paper Towns. I realized this wasn't really a review and more of just me talking about the stuff that I liked about the book. Um, but if you like this, watch my other reviews. Um, follow me on or friend me on Goodreads. I will friend you back, you know. You can see all my other reviews. I will leave the link below. and. Uh, I'll leave links below for all my other social media sites. I hope you guys all have a wonderful 2016. I really feel like this year things will come into place for me. And I hope that happens for all of you too. Bye!